I'm T.C. Newman. Here's a look at what's happening today. An arrest has been made in the deadly shooting that happened in North Sacramento. Omari O'Neill was taken into custody Saturday in connection with the shooting death of a man on Rio Lindo Boulevard and Carmelita Avenue. The victim hasn't been identified. In Butte County, officials have begun allowing families to return to their neighborhoods in the towns of Megalia and Concow. Evacuations were lifted today and families began returning to see what was left. The campfire destroyed nearly 14,000 homes before crews got full containment. Today was also the first day for students in the areas affected by the campfire to return to school. School officials scrambled to restart school, repurposing shuttered schools, churches, gyms, and other buildings. Now for a check of your weather, here's meteorologist Monica Woods. I think we're all bundling up this morning because it was so chilly, especially through the valley with readings in the 30s. We had that freeze watch and warning in effect for parts of the region and then negative two for Tahoe today. But everything starts to change for tonight. Looking at the cloud cover moving in overnight, that leads to a wet Tuesday forecast. Now we're going to start off the evening dry, but the clouds will continue to increase. Here's the caveat on that is that that actually will keep us a little bit warmer for tonight, insulating us just a little bit, so not quite as cold starting off on our Tuesday. At 7 a.m., those showers are still mainly off the coast. We'll see an occasional shower roll through for the overnight hours. But again, most of our Tuesday is going to be spotty showers at best. It really starts to pick up during the evening. And for the Sierra, much more snow on the way. Yeah, additional inches of snow anywhere from about 6 to 12 for the Sierra. Not much of a rain producer. We're getting about a half an inch of rain from this. And then we dry out by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But more rain due in by the end of the weekend and into early next week. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today.